Uh, Chris has said, if a disc herniates and the body cleans it up naturally, does the disc material regenerate? No. If you've lost, so that might be, for example, what's happened in the secret team's comment. If that's lost, it's lost. That's not to say you haven't got a, you, you don't, you, you won't um, ever be able to get better again in terms of your symptoms. You can't rebuild resilience. But what happens is the, the nucleus is gone, right? Or part of the nucleus is gone. Let's say we had, I'm just making our numbers here, right? If we have a hundred mil in a little cup, right? And then we've got the annulus around it, right? So the nucleus is hundred mil. If we lose 50 mil, we can't get 50 mil back, really, really. Um, and so, all that's going to happen, the main thing that's going to rebuild stability and resilience in that area, the injured tissue, the, the disc herniating, this material here, the red stuff, that's not the problem. It's a problem that is gone, but once it's gone, it's gone. What we need, the problem is the annulus fibrosis that needs to actually heal back up. That's what needs to go through the healing process. And that will go through a healing and strengthening process. And it will go through a healing process just like the other ligaments that will also have been damaged. If you've got a crazy herniation, at the level of L5S1 to the point where we've lost a significant volume of the disc height, you must understand without a shadow of a doubt, the segment has been damaged. You haven't injured the disc on its own. This, the, all of the many, go, go on Google if you, if you haven't seen this before, just type in like spinal ligaments. You'll see there is a mesh of support that, that, that blends with this area of the lumbar spine in between all of the bones. Those will, uh, the functioning and, and, and uh, load sharing of those structures is inextricably linked with the disc. And so if you've injured the disc, you've got injured to the, injury to the segment. And that segment will go through a healing process and a strengthening process if you give it the chance and the support and the guidance through your rehabilitation work. And it will strengthen itself back up. It won't have the same mobility that it had before, but it doesn't need to because the body is absolutely fantastic. And that's why we say to members, examples of this might include those of you that have a spondylolisthesis or those of you that have a, had a significant disc herniation like the secret team, those of you that had, had a spinal surgery where L5S1 doesn't move anymore. So unless, pending a, a, an extreme injury, you can't really injure it again. Right? If it's bolted still, it's not moving, it's not going anywhere, assuming that that, that was done correctly, because I have seen some cases where they actually bolted into the disc by accident, which was awful. Anyway, very, very rare, but it is something to bear in mind. But in those sorts of scenarios, to the degree, this is very important for you guys in this camp, 